What's up, YouTube? It's Carolina Calvin coming back to you with another video. I got MG here. We want to talk about the Spider-Man Homecoming trailer. We got a <laughs> couple things uh, that the trailer talks about. Um, we did watch it again because um, I've only seen it once. He's only seen it once. So we did watch it again not, not too long ago. We have some concerns about uh, what they're doing with Spider-Man. Obviously, there's some there's some big things even mentioned in this trailer that could possibly lead to a lot of things. TV shows in the future. Uh, of course, introducing the X-Men, introducing the Fantastic Four, and whoever else they want to uh, put into the MCU. But um, starting with um, Spider-Man Homecoming trailer, just, it takes place right after Endgame, obviously. Um, as a matter of fact, they, they changed it to where it, before it was the beginning of Phase 4, now it's the end of Phase 3. Which is kind of like the epilogue of in um, of Endgame, and it's pretty much Spider Man dealing with um, Tony's death. You see all the um, you, know, you, you see in the trailer you kind of see a, like a painting on a, on the side of a building of Iron Man. So that that's gonna be probably a big important part of the movie. Hopefully not too much. Um, you know you can understand it at the beginning. You see in the trailer you see like it's super emotional. So there's a good chance this movie takes place right after the funeral um that you see at the, at the end of Endgame. so i think when he was crying i think that was them on their way from the funeral yeah so yeah it, it, this movie takes place right after um spider-man you know pretty much takes a break and if you didn't see the trailers before kind of gave away Endgame before that they just took out some scenes um with the trailers before so they wouldn't but it still gave away Endgame. And why he stopped becoming, why why he took the vacation? But he takes a vacation. Apparently, he brought his friends with him. So was it was it like a school thing? Uh, I don't know. I'm assuming that's what it was. Cause that's what the original plot was said to be. Okay, because you, you do see, I, and I still think the supporting cast stinks. Yep. Like Zendaya, have no problem with her. But she ain't no MJ. Uh, Ned, <laughs> trash. trash. It's just. And who was the other guy? Who was the other guy? Was that a... Uh... Oh, Flash. Flash. A, it had to be Flash. That's the only person I could think of. If, if, if these one of my non-comic readers is watching this video, if you don't know who Flash is, just Google Flash Spider-Man, and it'll probably bring up... It may bring up the one from the movie, from the Homecoming movie. Ignore that one. Just search Flash Spider-Man comic, and you'll see it's like, this dude looks nothing like him. Look, is this... Flash is a, a white jock. Who pretty much bullies Peter. And they seem buddy buddy. He even seemed like a Spider Man fanboy in the trailer. But um uh it takes place in London. Um you see um what's that what's the actor name's playing Mysterio? His name just slipped oh, my Jake mind. Gyllenhaal. You see Gyllenhaal, uh he's playing Mysterio. This Mysterio is from a different earth. So this brings in the multiverse thing. It said, and they said it happened during one of the snaps. So you know this could be your introduction to. This probably will be your introduction to the X Men, the Fantastic Four, and whatever other character you know um, IP that it didn't already have and they just acquired recently. So this kind of this is gonna be their way of bringing them into that into that universe if they ain't already there. Um, I I don't have no problem with the multiverse thing. Kind of, it makes sense. That makes it make sense why Mysterio's like not the bad guy. Well, at least from what we've seen in the trailer, you could turn on him at some point. But it it will that will make sense. You have the elementals, which visually combat. Um, you know, seeing the fights and all that. You know, the seeing the elementals that looks great. I have no problem with the way it looks. Um. I have no problem. One hundred percent, Spider-Man being the centerpiece of the MCU. Um, a lot of people thought it was gonna be Captain Marvel, but I think they're gonna kind of. I think she's still gonna get her movies. She's still gonna be in some movies. They're gonna pull back. It's fucking Spider-Man. Yeah, if, I think that was yeah. I think the Captain Marvel thing was some misdirection. Yeah, they didn't want to give away too much. 
Um, but yeah, this is the way they're going. Spider Man's clearly looks looking like is he's gonna be the uh, centerpiece of the MCU. My biggest problem watching this trailer and MGs share similar concerns doesn't feel like Spider Man. Now Tom Holland, I think uh, mannerisms when he you know he's in the suit, uh, he's all the jokes and all that. That's that's Spider Man. I think he's done a great job with that. It's not necessarily just him. It's the way they're writing the character now, and I think they've gone full on. He's Iron Man 2.0. Trailer trailer put pretty much shows that. Am I right? Yep. Um, and you see different things like uh, when the cop says, "Are you next Iron Man?" Instead instead of saying "Thanks, Spider Man" or something like that, or you, know, you see with Nick Fury, you see Happy, who's pretty much working with. Um, Peter, you see him. You see him with Iron Man's tech. You're gonna see him. In, you know, you see different suits they, that he's in. It that's what they look like they're doing, and we're in the minority of you know. Obviously, we don't. We're not gonna like the direction they're going because he's Spider Man. You don't, you don't have to do that with Spider Man. People want to. People are gonna see Spider Man. I mean, he's he's still. Maybe not necessarily if you just include MCU, but if you include throughout all of Marvel, including merchandise, comics, video games. Um, he is the most popular Marvel character, and it's not even close. People aren't buying Iron Man. Uh, people don't, people solely look up look at stuff for Iron Man because of the movies. Like other than that, they probably not messing with it. But Spider Man, Spider Man has dominated pretty much every facet in terms of media for Marvel for a while, and for them to for them to for them to kind of do this to a character like this when you don't you don't really have to because I think his popularity kind of speaks for itself. I mean, he's clearly going to be the face. You can have him mourning Tony Stark, but don't have him. Ride his coattails. They already made that mistake in Homecoming with him uh, not making. He made his original suit like right before he became Spider Man, but he didn't make the other suit that we know him for, for, you know, decades. He didn't make that suit, but he has his suit. It has all the gadgets, the same gadgets that he makes later. If, you, uh, if you're into the books, th these are the same gadgets that he makes later when he has his own company. He's given these gadgets. He's given the artificial intelligence. Pretty much, too. It takes away one of the core aspects of the characters. One thing we've talked about in Homecoming is the character's independence. They, you know, he, he made his original web shooters, but that was the point of him now. He has, when he has the ones built into the suit. So, mm -hmm. it, it, it's, a, it's a core part. Like, we understand that these, these movies are supposed to be adaptations of comic characters. But when you deviate so far but it doesn't feel like the character that you're adapting, then that's when the problem comes in. And then that's one of the things Spider Man really didn't need anyone's help. And I, and I think they, they kinda set that up at the end of Homecoming where he was like, um he didn't want to take the suit and um and all that. And he wanted to kinda do his own thing. Obviously they pulled back on that in Infinity War. But he did get the Iron Spider suit, which I understand him getting that from Tony. But then this one is just they're going full on Tony Stark Jr. Pretty much. So, so what, what do you think, MG? Uh, I mean, before we got on air, I told you I think Marvel's drawing a line in the sand here, and I think they're uh, I think they're more concerned with chasing box office than chasing chasing the, a, a true a, a true adaptation. Um, I think. Uh, <clears throat> If you kind of look at what they're doing, they are, I think, yeah, because there's never been a Spider-Man movie that's done a billion in the box office, and that's obviously what they're shooting for. I think they're shooting for one point. I think they're shooting for one point five, um, just to be honest. And um, as a Spider-Man fan from the comics, I hate it. I understand it from a just a from a casual as a casual moviegoer, I get it. But as a as a, as a Spider-Man fan from the comics, I hate it. Yeah. I hate it because they're, they're trying to ride the coattail. They're, they're, they're trying to use Iron Man. 
they're trying to ride Iron Man's coattails to turn Spider-Man into a monster movie franchise and not just a monster comic franchise, yeah. which um, some of the stuff I understand, but a lot, but most of it is just plain unnecessary if they just do a good Spider-Man. Yeah, people, like, people are going to watch it. Like, if, if you just do a good movie, it's Spider-Man. Did you, did you, did you not hear, like, it's just people watching this video, did you not hear the pop for Spider-Man when he showed up? Spider-Man and Black Panther is probably the two. In movies, I've ever, like there, there are points in that movie, especially near the end, uh, referring to Endgame, where crowds they go crazy. The Spider-Man and the Black Panther parts were some of the loudest I've ever heard a movie theater, and I've seen a lot of movies. And this includes all the other Marvel movies, um, just about any other movie I've seen. It was it, it was crazy. Just shows you how popular Spider-Man is. Like before, before the Iron Man, before all these other characters, everyone knew who Spider Man was. He was one A. Right, Spider Man is inbred into American culture. He, yep. he, he's that type. He's like this is just like you know we look on the opposite, like Batman, Superman. They're literally inbred into the culture. Everyone knows who those two characters are. Spider Man's right there with them, and. For them to kind of, you know, make him ride Iron Man's coattails. I, it, like, like I said, box office, that's pretty much what they're looking at. Because obviously we in the minority. You, you know, you, I'm going to have the uh, trailer down in the uh, the comment section. You go look at the comments in the tra- on that trailer. There's not a lot of dislikes. Uh, you go down and look at the comments. Most aren't even bringing up kind of kind of the uh, him riding Iron Man's coattails. Most just most see the action. Um, you know, they see the elementals. They hear about the. Uh, they see like the multiverse. So, you know, all the possibilities is with that. No one's really pointing out that. They kind of, they're kind of destroying the. They kind of destroying the character personally. You could essentially. I mean, I, I, like I said, I like Tom Holland as Spider Man. I think uh, I think he does a good job of portraying. Yeah, I don't think it's at all. It's not even close. He he goes out there, he acts, he does his job. He doesn't he he doesn't have any part he doesn't have any voice over the script or anything they do in the future. He just goes out there, they you know, they tell him what to say, he goes out there and says it. That I mean as far as that's as far as his involvement with it is. Yeah, and I think uh even the people who are excited for the movie, I think, I think it, I think you're looking at the same crowd of people, you know, uh, that I think you're kind of looking at the same group of people, uh, kind of dynamic as with Homecoming, where you get one side who hated Homecoming, because a lot of us don't consider that to be Spider-Man, mm-hmm. and you got the other side of people who, um, they just, you know, they just like the MCU or their newer fans and they're excited for it. So I it, it, it think you got the same kind of split here, you know, even with that like to dislike ratio. I think people, because uh, a lot of people first seen the trailer on Twitter, I'm assuming, when it dropped. Yeah, that's probably what you'll so, see most of your So. Yeah, most of your negative comments and stuff like that and, you know, forums and, you know, websites and stuff like that. And then a lot of us, you know, a lot of people just don't like and dislike stuff either. You know, yeah, yeah, they'll just they'll just see it and probably like say something to themselves, won't really yeah. comment or nothing like that. Yeah. Because a lot of people have figured out the YouTube algorithm, right? I think it's, uh, what, 5,000 likes in the first 24 hours in the video trends. Yeah. So, um, I think a lot of people have figured that out too. So, you know, they'll, they'll like the video, they'll like the trailer and try to make the trailer, you know, a really big thing or whatever. And, um, you know, I, I definitely think, uh, it's for, from a visual perspective, it, it, it should be exciting, but just from a story perspective, I, I just, I'll never consider this to be Spider-Man. Yeah. Cause I mean, the, like, just, just removing the mentions of Iron Man uh, or him being the next Iron Man. You know, you got Mysterio from another world. Uh, multiverse confirmed. You got Elementals. You got the different suits. Sounds cool as shit, right? Because, I mean, the other multiverses set up a live-action Spider-Verse movie in the future. It could. So just the possibilities we're just thinking about that. I think that's what a lot of people have thought about. But then, you know, you kind of really look at it it's like all the, all the references to spider-man or him i mean the iron man or him being the next iron man hell would they even 
Because, I mean, as you well know, know Spider Man is a pretty smart dude. He makes all his gadgets that he, you know, you see him in use in the future. Some of the stuff you saw him use in Homecoming. Like I said, in the books, he made those. Once he got the money to make them, the web fluid, he made that. Yep. Dude's a, dude's a genius. So I wonder, do, do, do they pull back on that too? Oh, well, they already have. So, like, it, it, what? I mean, how much of, even if you look at Homecoming, do we even see that he was that smart? No. I think Civil War showed a little bit more where he made, where he showed um, web shooters that he made. Uh, Civil War did a lot. Of, uh, it, it, and it was in a brief scene, as a matter of fact. But Homecoming, yeah. throughout a whole two hour movie, didn't even do that. So, I think uh, even even his suit, I mean, he's he wore his original suit that he made briefly, but ever since he's been wearing the Stark suit mm-hmm. <laughs> ever since. Mm-hmm. We haven't even seen, we've seen Spider Man in his own original suit maybe, what, once or twice? <laughs> And but he never remember he never made that suit the suit that looks like the Stark one the um not of course not the Iron Spider but the one he wore. Well, I'm talking about his to. original original suit that he had because oh you talking about one that... he like wrestled in or whatever oh no no you're right he hasn't made his he own never, suit at all he never made that shit that's what I'm saying he 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 only made the original suit where he which they don't even explain like they don't even give you an explanation of oh when when did you make that suit what did you do in that suit um because. If you originally remember, that was the suit he made, obviously, before he made the, uh, the Spider-Man suit that we all know. Yeah, because when he never made... started, it picks up like he, he's already been Spider-Man for a few months. Yeah. And he, um, just, as a matter of fact, Civil War, didn't he say he was Spider-Man for already for like six months or something like that? Yeah. Yeah, so he, and, and he was using the other crappy suit, the original suit. He didn't even make the other suit yet. He well, the suit in Civil War, he had he had the Stark suit. Yeah, that was yeah that was the one from Stark, and that was the one he uh because he got an upgraded version of that one, in yeah. Homecoming. So he never made his he never made the suit we know him for. He never made it, which is ridiculous. And him having the artificial the AI stuff, a big a big problem what they want to do with this. They want to strip. They want to kind of anything like Uncle Ben. Nope, take take that out. Spider Sense. We just we we, we just saw of uh, that in Infinity War. You know, we saw his hair stand. He was on the bus. Um, mm-hmm. But they 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 tried to they they, they tried to avoid that as well. I, I think they did it one time in Civil War when he got some thrown at him. And he, yeah, he, his suit is a, this, this, the AI in the suit is the Spider Sense, basically. Ridiculous. If you remember in the first movie, in Homecoming, yeah, I, the just, suit. I, I just yeah. remember about that. Yeah. So they didn't. They didn't want to give him his. They didn't want to really show off his spider sense. They clearly, he clearly doesn't have. They clearly kind of pull back on him being smart. Now this movie could show more of that. Um, obviously, we've just seen a trailer. We know how they do with these trailers. Some of those scenes probably not in the film where it mentions Iron Man. Some of them probably more than likely are. And you know they could play up his his intelligence, but we just haven't seen that. Since since he's been in the uh, MCU, um, what was I yeah, the, the Uncle Ben thing. At this point, Iron Man is Uncle Ben. Fucking yep. s- sucks to say, but Iron Man's pretty much Uncle Ben. He he he, he talking about you don't even get the line with uh, greater power comes greater great responsibility. You don't even get that line. Like, you don't get no flashback to that line. They didn't even want to mention him in Homecoming. For whatever reason, they, I guess they didn't want to connect him. They didn't want to say, oh, uh, yeah, we did it. We showed that again. You don't have to show Uncle Ben dying. You literally yeah. put a dude's, you can put an old dude's voice. Just you know, kind of him, like, remembering that. You can put an old dude's voice saying that. Boom. You, you like, you just did, it, like, you shut up one complaint. Everybody already knows who he is. Like, yeah, and see that, that, that yeah, that's another thing. Uh, Spider Man in the books, hell, in most, in most animated stuff, you go back and look at like the nineties animated cartoons. Even for someone that's, I'm saying that for someone that probably didn't read the books. Uh, Spider Man's identity was sacred. Is that like now? I mean, you see, um. Zendaya's MJ's, which is terrible, but uh, she kind of say, "Oh, you Spider Man." Hopefully, that's just a joke, 
and her just kind of saying that, you know, just to say it or whatever. Her, hopefully that's just a joke. Because she finds out he's Spider-Man. Uh, Aunt May already knows. Which Aunt May in the books doesn't know till much later. till he's an adult. Hey, Spider-Man. Ned Leeds knows. Ned Ned knows. Vulture knows. Like, a lot of people know the guy's identity. Happy yet. knows. Yep. All the Avengers knew. Because, I mean, if you, if you look at the original Civil War from the books, no one knew his identity originally. Yeah. There's no one spot. They, they, despite him working with Iron Man, of course, defecting over the cat. They didn't know who he was until a point where it got announced. No, they got like retconned or whatever. But I, you know, I still think the movie's gonna be good. Look at it visually, um, and it sets up it sets up a lot of stuff in the future. But I don't know. I, I don't know. Just they they they've deviated so far away from Spider Man. I didn't think they could take it much further than Homecoming. Which homecoming, <laughs> homecoming was was like wow you, you didn't like no and if if you just go into like other things no consequences for stuff he did in the movie uh which is a com which is a well known thing Spider Man life sucks you know yeah and I think that's what, I think that's what the Raimi movies kind of um, capture hell even the first Amazing Spider Man captured that where you know no no J Jonah. Referring to when you was in New York, no J Jonah. They completely they didn't want to do that either. Forgot to mention that. Like, doesn't it doesn't feel like Spider Man? It just it, it, it just it it does. I know yeah, Spi- it's Spider it's, Spider Man in name. Spider Man in name, yeah. Definitely ain't Spider Man in character. No. Honestly, they should just call these movies Iron Spider. He's Iron Man, Spider Man. Like, let's call him Iron Spider. You, you, nope. Yeah, pretty much. I was about to say, go ahead. No, 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 go ahead. But yeah, I mean that's basically what he is. He's, he's Iron, he's, 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 Spider, he's Iron Man in a Spider Man suit at this point. Let's call him Iron Spider. And um, I, forgot what I was gonna say. But I don't know. I like I said, I'm I'm still gonna watch the movie. Um, because definitely is this the last movie in the phase, and I want to see. I'm, I'm interested. I'm interested to see the um, how they how they go about with the Mysterio thing being from different Earth. Earth. I think that to me more so than anything else. Obviously, the visuals, seeing the elementals and stuff like that. But the multiverse thing, which I think that is probably the reason I want to see it the most, along with the visuals and of course the uh, the action. The action is gonna be great. You know, you already you already pretty much expect expect that action was great in Homecoming. It was just about everything else and. The side characters still look weak. You know, Happy Hogan, he's gonna be good, but for what he is. But some of these other characters, I'm still not expecting a lot out of. No. I don't yeah. Know. I... It's just it. I <laughs> kind of speechless. I looking at the trailer the first time. I just I I saw all of this stuff. Man. You, Coming to it, you kind of want to enjoy the trailer. You don't want to really pick it apart, but you, they make it obvious. They make all this stuff obvious. So, I mean, hopefully, none of that stuff's in the movie that we're complaining about. Like, at least with him becoming the next Iron Man. Oh, but, I'm uh, sure that's what it is. But yeah, all, all all indications point to yeah, that's what's gonna fucking happen. And most people. You know, th- I think that's a big reason why they moved it from. I think the big reason why they moved it from Phase Four to Phase Three. Uh, obviously, they hit the multiverse thing. Um, that's I think that's another reason why they moved it from Phase Four to Phase Three because they didn't want to spoil it, so they really had no way of saying, "Hey, the X Men, this is how they're here," or some of these other properties. Which I still think. Uh, actually, I'm moving my timeline back for X Men a little bit. They, they, they've come out with a timeline, as a matter of fact, for the next couple of years. Yeah, well, because they still have new... New Mutants is still scheduled to come out next year. Yeah, they pushed it. They pushed it from some point. It's, uh, I think it's 420 next year, actually. Wow. 
Yeah, so no one, because I mean, at one point they were talking about that was going to come out later this year or was going to get canceled. Like, but the fact that they're still coming out with that tells me that it's going to be a while for X Men. Yeah, I still don't think. It, I, don't, I still don't think it's five years though. Five. No. I don't think it's five years from when uh, Kevin Feige said it, which was like not too long ago when he said that. Well, it'd be five years in the MCU. Time. Yeah, that's that's basically what he fucking meant. He didn't mean he didn't mean real world time. He meant yeah. Well, movie. even at that, if New Mutants is coming out next year, I think you still have to wait. Even you would have to wait at least a year after that, which would put which would put us at what two, three years from now. I, I think we'll uh, yeah. I think it'll be a movie in two or three years from now. Yeah. I'm, so yeah, I, I can definitely see that being a thing. But uh, they're, they're they don't know what they're doing with Spider Man. Well, they know what they're doing, but it's not right. <laughs> yeah, the unfortunate thing about it, movie probably gonna do a lot of damn money because most oh people, yeah, most people like we're probably one of the few people that on YouTube who actually complained about it, made a video about it, or on Twitter in the minority because they they pretty much got people now and. We'll have to see how they handle this next phase because if they willing to do this to Spider Man, motherfuckers better beware. Cause they they they're gonna have Doctor Strange doing magic shows at kids parties. They're gonna have. I, I'm wondering to see how, how, what they're gonna do with the X Men. Are they gonna change? Because if they go into the X Men and they change some of these characters around. Not even referring to just, but let's say just like the actors. Um, referring to, let's say he makes Cyclops a black dude. I'm not, I, I'm just going to say I'm done. You know, I, at, at that point, it was like, who knows? Because, I mean, you look at Spider, you look at the uh, Homecoming, you look at Far From Home, and you saw how they destroyed Spider Man's, like, uh, supporting cast. With this whole diversity thing, but that's a whole other topic with the uh, hmm. with the agenda. We we know that they they're they're gonna try to go closer to the comic books with how they do the agenda thing. Um, was there anything else you want to say about Far From Home? Um, no. Mm. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing the Iron Spider movie. <laughs> you know, when the real Spider-Man shows up, let me know. <clears throat> yeah, basically. Um, I said, hope, hopefully, hopefully it's a good movie. You know, I want to see shitty movies, but I can already tell you that uh, I'm probably not gonna. I'm probably gonna just. I'm gonna look at it. I'm like, yeah, the action was cool and all that, but yeah. fuck the rest of that shit. Uh, Iron Spider-Man. That's what it is. Yeah, they they even had the scene where he like took the glasses off. Just like uh, seeing, I can't remember which movie where Iron Man did it. It's like, really? Mm-hmm. And people didn't. I, I wonder if people caught that amongst like I think all it was the Infinity other War. When he did that, yeah. And I was like, so they're gonna have Spider? Like, they even got Spider Man? Co- did people understand this? Spider Man didn't need none of that. The dude fought six super, six of his supervillains at the same time. No help. Mm-hmm. And now you're pretty much making them Iron Man 2.0. He's one of the few characters that have always just their thing has been remain solo. Yeah, and when, whenever he worked with someone else, oh, it just so happened they met up. Yeah, like he 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 didn't, you know. You hear people all the time say, "Oh, uh, Iron Man wasn't in Homecoming as much as we thought he was for the trailers." Right, but his impact was felt. Spider Man, most of the movie trying to impress him. Spider Man. uh most of all the gadgets that he they could have had him make in the future, ah, those were just given to him. His original his original suit we know know him for, that's given to him as well. What what does he do do? And I and I'll make this um comparison. It's like Iron Man not making his first he's not he he, he in that cave he didn't make that suit. Which was, you know, his original suit. And also, when he, of course, later in uh, first Iron Man, he didn't make the Mark One. How would you feel about just people watching this video? How would you feel about that? They did that to Iron Man. That's essentially what they've done to Spider Man. That's essentially what they've done to Spider Man. (sighs) 
But anyways, we're gonna get out of here. Uh, like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Of course, hit that bell so you can see more videos that I put out. And subscribe. Peace. We're out.